Hey everybody, Pelican Tacos here. What's up? How you doing today? Gonna show you a little bit of the Dark Prince action. I bought him in the shop a few days ago and I've been perfecting and getting defeated by with the Dark Prince and we're gonna show you some good replays today with him. So let's get on started. One of the first things that I really like to do is use him with the prince himself so here is my deck you've got this one against nox and he's coming in with the hog rider the mirror uh minions and mr fireball himself so let's go ahead and watch it i have not yet really been able to successfully over and over again three crown a particular base so this dude's gonna be going crazy with his little noises yes all right so i have been liking using the elixir pump that has been very very helpful for me in the end it does help me distract the hog rider attacks that are becoming so popular right now from you know him coming in directly at your building so for the most part right now using that as a distractor has been very very helpful overall my Elixir count is somewhere in the upper three, I think 3.9, potentially with this particular deck. So, uh, pretty okay with that. 3.6, 3.9, somewhere around there is pretty good. So, if you want to substitute the Elixir Collector for minions and for a wizard, you can try that. Ooh, look at this, the double hog rider. And we're going to take these guys out, no problem. But the problem with that is I'm down to 153. And just remember that number here in a minute, would you? Yeah, so Elixir Collectors all day. Been very, very helpful for me. And now you notice I will put them up a little bit higher above that 153 tower in order for the Hog Rider to be distracted. So, very sad. This Musketeer comes in and the first thing she sees, yeah, my Elixir Collector. <laughs> so, kind of annoyed with that, but anyway we are going to drop in the prince now there's quite a different combo mixes that you can do here you can do the dragon in either of the princes you could if you're doing the minions instead of the electric collectors you can do the dragon and the minion together and we'll use that we'll see that here in just a bit but i need to drop in that tesla to get rid of this dude right there but here it comes here comes the major push the elixir collector one more time to protect me and again look he's got 153 and he is not using his arrows in the right spot unfortunately that would have taken two arrows we know he's got two arrows so i've got to get that tower up there and dropping in the prince and the prince what up double prince and watch they get pushed this is what I love about that, is he's pushing him into the tower as like a shield, a body shield right there. It's pretty, pretty sweet. So as long as I can hold him off, even if he uses his arrows one time, I do not think he'll be able to get it. He is past the point of no return. He's got to bring everything in to get my tower, and he's not going to. I don't know why you're not doing it, dude. Just one thing of arrows, one right after another, you'd be just fine. Oh my goodness! Nope, sorry dude, you're done. Get rid of those minions, and bam, that's it. So there it is for the first part of dropping in that prince with the dark prince, and then throwing the dragon behind is very, very helpful. And let's head on over to Mr. Gain. Now I'm fighting a lot of sevens right now, level seven, so I'm not really... You know, too excited about the Dark Prince right now <laughs> since I am a level 8. So I'm not, you know, as good as I could be at this point. So I'm going to drop in the Elixir Collector right at the right off the bat because I have no clue whether or not he has a free spell when I'm coming into this. And yeah, he did. So if, he, if I did not drop that Elixir Collector, that would have been bad news for me. So at this point, I know he doesn't have too much Elixir. And I... Uh, yeah, but I didn't like the fact that he had the bomb tower, so I, I dropped it. I didn't feel like, hey, I'm going to really put much more effort into this push. I'm going to put it onto the other side instead, and let's see what he's going to bring out, because I know that he just dropped both of those goblins, and we took quite a bit off of that, so he'll come in. He's not very strong. Level 1 has got 700 hit points, so I am super excited. I'll be really excited to upgrade him. Alright, that building is taking some damage, so I'm going to Put in another elixir collector there 
I know he's got the zap. I know he's got the freeze. That bomb tower is the bane of a lot of my pushes. I really, really don't like it. I didn't like it when I had the hog rider barb push and I'm not going to like it with the princes, but there's a way around it and I'll show you here in just a minute. Do have good momentum right there. He wants to wait to get his bomb tower and my dragon is just going to go, 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 go. And just whittle that building down to a thousand, which is pretty sweet. All right. And one of the things that I decided to do in this one, I thought, hmm, you know, I keep coming into the fact that he's going to put a bomb tower down and I'm going to have both my princes. So what if I split up the attack and put one prince on one side, heavily guarded, so it distracts him and he's going to put his bomb tower down. That's my thinking at this point, and let's see how that goes. You want to kind of lure them in, and that's the, the double prince attack is really, really good for luring them. Because you're going to start seeing like, what? What are you doing? So let's speed it up a little bit so we can get to that point. Because he put it right in the middle, and those guys are not going to do much. He's going to freeze them, and that's kind of sad. Frozen princes, we got the princicles, baby! All right. Put it back to normal. Hog Rider's coming in, and he got distracted by that elixir collector, and that was very, very nice, in my opinion. I'm gonna put one prince over here with the dragon, oh, with the prince, with the other prince, and let's see what happens. That building down there is not going so well, and he does. He puts in his bomb tower like I thought he was going to. Barbs, and it did not work. So at this point, I'm thinking, hmm, let's split them up and let's put them in. A different way so here we got to put that elixir collector there we got to protect it he's down to a thousand on both of his buildings I've got 400 so if he can get that hog rider in there with a fireball and a zap all together we're looking at dead meat there from that crown tower sitting at 10 so we're gonna put the prince in with the dragon and we're gonna force him to drop there we go Boom, look at that. Dark Prince coming in with the goblins behind him. And look at this, totally distracted. He's gonna drop in his fireball and just then, man, whatever level his fireball would have been, that would have taken out that crown tower, I can imagine. So, ooh, let's hit the chest. So, very, very good. It's There's just a ton of different things you can do both ways there. So, and then by far the best one of the evening so super close, have not had one this close in a long, long time. Fighting a dude in Royal Arena, again, he's a level seven, so I'm not too proud of this, but we're gonna skip past, because it's just kinda hit and miss, back and forth and back and forth, especially with the witch. All right, with this one, I did have the minion horde on hand, so instead of having the elixir collector, I decided to do the minion horde. That was by far right there, really, really good. That was the alternative push that I could have done with the minions. And there it is. It's going to be this way for the rest. <laughs> very, very good battle between me and him, this Royal Arena dude. And I was able to push with both sets there. So you can do the two princes together, but having the dragon and the minion horde is very, very good. There it is. Betongmer. And then the last one, the super, super close one. Let's go into chat because it's in chat here. It is Rahira against Kawahi. All right, this is back when I was in the 1900s. Stayed in the 1900s, got all the way down to 1800, I think, for the first time. Just really trying to figure out how to use the Dark Prince. I wasn't sure exactly how low I was going to be able to go with him, but it took a little bit of a learning curve to get him in there. So, all right, dragon, hog rider, minions, no big deal. He's got the ice wizard, so I'm going to take him out. And liking the ice wizard seems pretty cool. I really, really like what they can do together. And you'll notice that I'm putting both princes in together, even if he's distracted a little bit. Still really helpful. All right. Ooh, I love that little trick with the hog rider. If you don't do that with your hog rider, I highly recommend doing that, freezing the Tesla before it comes up. And there it is. Dark Prince, Dark Prince, frozen! 
frozen princes. Don't tell Elsa. There it is, right here, ready? Boom! Frozen and frozen. We'll call this dude Mr. Freeze. And look at him, he's going so slow. Oh, sad prince. All right, so we got 30 seconds to ruin this guy. And it's going to be very, very close. At this point, I'm thinking I'm going to go for the draw. I don't really know that I can do much else. So I'm going to put my minions in, get rid of that ice wizard. And then I'm going to save up. Look at all those troops right there. Prince, Prince, Frozen, which is just perfect for me because then it gives me enough chance to drop in the Dark Prince. Look at this. All right, ready? Ready for this? Ten, nine, two princes, dragon. Oh, my goodness. There they go. There they go. Ready? And I'm thinking it's done. But look at the amount of damage. Look at that. In two seconds, I took off, what was that, 13, 1400 damage? That's crazy the amount of damage that I took in such a short time. So there it is. That's the Dark Prince. We'll give you his stats at this point. For those of you who do not have him, highly recommend pushing up to Royal Arena, using that Barb uh, Frozen the frozen barb strategy with the hog rider very very good but here he is 700 hit points 200 shield points so I was hitting him at 900 that shield does not last very long so area damage that's the nice thing about his club that he's using swings that gigantic mace and it's area damage so archers goblins all those guys skeletons anything that they're gonna throw at you are gonna get swept up pretty quickly by him so Pretty awesome. There is the Doc Prince. Yes, it is, folks. So thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, comment, do what you do to videos. Check out some of my other videos if you haven't seen any of my Level 1 or uh, Clash Royale videos there. Check them out. As well as uh, Town Hall 9 if you want to check out some Goblin Raids in my Town Hall 9 video there. Click through there or play Minecraft with us. All right, guys, that's it. Pelican Tacos out.